Hello, my friend. Thank you for clicking to this video. Uh, as you can see on the screen, you might have seen that kind of stitches on a seat on a backrest. A uh, lot of zip uh, today are using it. And the seat can be simple, but when you add those kind of accent in there, it gives you like a, a, a beautiful look. I will teach you on this video how you can do that. Uh, you might see something like hard to do it if you don't have experience. It might be, but I will give you an idea how you can do it on this video. And this is the seat. I will be making the cover for this kind of seat and you will see it. Uh, keep in mind, when you're going to do something like this, like add it, add it like uh, those kind of decorative stitches, uh, that uh, thread color means a lot. So uh, you have to choose the thread color. I have to be brightness than the material. As you can see on there, it is just a simple seat. But you will see how the simple seat uh, will turn out and beautiful on, on this video. That is a stitch and I will add that piping right there. And then on the side of the piping, I will add it two stitches. Uh, Sometimes the piping can be one eighth of an inch or one quarter of an inch. If you use the uh, thickest than that, it might not look good. I cut some pieces already. I'm not going to show you the whole process. I'm just going to give you an idea how you can do it. As uh, you can see right here, I have a, a top. It's, I'm going to use black vinyl and I have it on there. Black vinyl with a quarter of an inch headliner and check this out you see the headliner i'm going to put the headliner uh facing up and you might ask uh why facing up should be facing down because i want that stitch to pop out if i put the headliner facing down that stitch will be still showing but i'm not like as i want that's what i'm putting the headliner like that and i will put glue you will do the same thing this is just an idea guys i know there are some experts maybe watching this video and you know this process is a simple thing and if you are an expert doing a car interior this video might uh, not showing you nothing new so i put glue it on there i didn't put a lot just enough to hold the vinyl with the phone and then i will draw some line in there uh, to make this cover look good, uh, the stitch has to be close, like uh, one quarter or wedge away, uh, one stitch from the another one. And I am using a silver uh, ink. And I'm just going to draw two more lanes. One quarter away from each other. As you can see, and I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay, I draw three lines in there. Just going to put this. Uh, that's the material that I'm going to be on the side. And I will put the headliner right here. And I'm going to put the headliner facing up. You might think I am crazy by doing this, but uh, I have been doing uh, both way: the headliner facing uh, the right ways, and then the headliner facing up. And I know this way the stitch look better. And I glued the headliner to the phone, and now I'm going to glue. Uh, the vinyl through the headliner. I put enough uh, glue in there, just uh, enough to hold in that vinyl. That vinyl, this vinyl, it is too much, too way stretchy. So I just glue them on there. Okay. I need to draw. Just put a mark in there. Same thing right here. And because it's two inch and a half, I'm going to use a chalk because that way you can see better what I am on, 
where I am drawing. And I am drawing exactly on that edge. Okay, I got that part. And now I'm going to draw inside. This part is straight, so I just get the ruler and draw all the way. I need to draw a line right here, and that line may have to be exactly on top of the black. As you can see the black right there, and now I just draw it on top. Okay. I put some mark in there. The purpose of those mark is that uh, uh, it's like a guy when I am sewing that without those mark, uh, the color might be crooked, and you don't want that to happen during the sewing process. So, same thing as before, the stitch has to be one quarter away from each other, and that's what I'm doing here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut a half inch uh, extra all around. That's just for the scenes. When I am putting the, all those pieces together, I will make sure to take in half inch. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Cutting. Okay, I got the center piece, then I got, I got the side panel. I will take these two pieces to the sewing machine and I start putting those uh, stitches. And I'm going to sew exactly on top of that mark. This uh, thread it is a T270. It's a thick thread and you have to adjust your sewing machine before you start uh, sewing. And I'm going to make sure to sew in on top of that mark, top of that line in there. Slow. And I got the first stitch. And I will put two more. Got one in there. And you can see it. I am sewing that on the, on the headliner plus the binder. And I will do the same thing. I can use the presser foot as a guide for this stitch, but I put a mark on it. And I sew in a little by little, and you will do the same thing, my friend. See, I am using a black vinyl with the red thread. If I use a, a black thread, even that T270, it's not going to look that good. It has to be the contrast thread. So I put those three stitches in there and I will uh, do the same thing right here. Three stitches. This it is just time. And I got the first stitch right there. And I will do the same thing right here. I know if you have been working on this trade for a long time ago, this is nothing, my friend. I know that it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. So I got that uh, the pleats and I got the side panel, but check this out. Do you remember I put a half inch, uh, I mean a quarter of an inch highliner, then I take it to a sewing machine. So check this out. I will add another layer of headliner material. Uh, one quarter plus one quarter will be a half inch phone in there just as a pattern pattern it 
if I saw that uh, material to layer of headliner, the stitch will still see in good, but not as good as uh, when you sew in a quarter of an inch headliner. So I got this, uh, the side panel, and then I got the insert, the three pieces with red thread. So I need to put a mark right here because I'm going to uh, cut it, another mark. The purpose of that mark that I just rubbed on there is to sew those uh, uh, side panel in the uh, symmetrical. So far so good. We got the face of this bottom cushion. Now uh, we're going to sew the the pan or the, or the round piece and I put glue. What do I put glue with? Just enough to hold the material to the phone when I am drawing. That's the purpose of putting glue. Some people put glue, some people uh, put uh, hold the vinyl with pins, and some people uh, make a pattern, and whatever easier it is for you, practice it that way. There are so many different ways how you can cut this panel, how you can trace this panel. So I put a uh, and I will draw. I start drawing all around that edge of that phone. On check that part on the front, I just draw like a little bit lower than uh, where the angle it is because I don't like the stitch to be exactly on the angle, especially on the front part. I don't like it. I never like it because the stitch is right there when the customer sit and sit and sit and use the part uh, sometime uh, the cover start uh, wear and tear for that area and sometime if you don't adjust the machine uh, the thread might break it on that area and that's what I always lower the stitch on that part with piping or with not piping so I cut it I trace it then I cut it I cut it as normal. See, I give it the extra for the seam allowance. And because right here, this cover will be with the staple, I just leave it like one inch and a half longer. And I got the back piece right here. So this is the pipe and this is very important. You see, the stitch were uh, red, the piping will be uh, red too and it's one inch the width is one inch plus whatever it is the length one inch you can cut it one inch and a half that will be perfect but I just give it one inch that piping will be right there but the process how you're going to attach this piping to the uh, insert and to the piece that is going to be around it's not the same it's a little bit different and this is very important you see I got two pieces that piece that is going to be on the bottom can be any color it's inch and a half the pipe the red material is one inch the piece that is on the bottom is inch and a half and I'm going to put one stitch one stitch all the way so I got one stitch but check this out now I'm going to put one A tube or piping in there then I will put another stitch leaving that piping inside and I start sewing and slowing slow check for the bobbin and there you can see it so I got the piping between those two materials cut it 
and I will cut it right here. And I put uh, those marks in there. Those marks are on the phone and I just make sure to get them on the red vinyl. And I will sew in that pipe in there. making sure okay it's perfect now I start sewing the red vinyl is facing down because I want the red vinyl to be show nice sewing that piece all the way and you can see it This it is not hard. A lot of people when they see this kind of design on this kind of accent on a seat, they might think it is hard. No, it's not hard. You just have to know how to do it. That's it. So I got a pipe in on there. I just will make some split on here because I want the material to release pressure in there. And there it is. And you can see it. So now I will put a top stitch. And that top stitch, that uh, the thread will be red. Means a lot. Okay, perfect. Now I start putting the top stitch slow. And making sure perfect yes I am sewing and I am checking and I got that top stitch right there I'm going to add one more top stitch to make it look uh, beautiful and I will cut it right here I don't need excess material in there and I got the first right there look fantastic huh simple and beautiful so now I will add a, a quarter of an inch headliner I put glue and I cut all around the excess headliner I always like to add a can be one a or one quarter of an inch thickness headliner because I think when you add that to the vinyl or to the fabric, the cover uh, tend to last for longer. And now I'm going to uh, sew in the side panel to the center piece, and I am taking in half inch. The extra that I give for the stitch, now I am taking in. Just make sure whatever you give extra for the scenes, make sure to take in when you are sewing. And I do the same thing on the other side. That is the mark. And the center stitch, you have to hit that mark. So I got it that part. Uh, if you remember, this should be like that. But I'm going to make sure, always make sure to put the cover, I mean the insert on top of the phone. If you see the cover is still, uh, little bit longer or extra just trim a little bit that's what I'm doing right here always make sure that so I got the front and I got the back now I'm going to sew the tail and then the side piece all around plus I'm going to put one stitch right here I cut it right here and I will do the same thing right there so because I'm going to glue this cover to the phone, I will put a, another stitch right here, just around the edge. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It is necessary to put this stitch. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And then I put one stitch right here. Because it is headliner, it's not necessary to sew all around. And on the back, same thing. 
then I trim the excess material. So what is next? Next I'm going to sew the tail. And it's time to sew uh, the piece that is going to be around with the insert. Just follow those marks, whatever mark you put, make sure to match it. And that's what I'm going to do right here. I am using a black thread right now because this is the black seams. But later on, I will uh, use a red uh, thread. That is the mark, the notch. It's hard to see, but now I just cut a little bit that way you can see it. So I'm done with the blind uh, stitch. Now I'm going to uh, chain thread because I'm going to put another tap stitch on the other side of that piping. Uh, Always be after I uh, replace the thread, I always make sure uh, uh, it's sewing good because sometimes uh, the thread exposed from uh, outside or you can see him on the bottom and that's not good. So make sure to check it because you don't want the bottom thread to expose. Same as before, this is a top stitch, but this is a top stitch uh, on the inside. If you don't have a skill uh, sewing a top stitch and you are putting a different color of the material, any mistake will be so notable. So please make sure to practice it before you uh, put this kind of uh, decorative stitch. Make sure to practice it. Make sure that the stitch is crooked. Uh, custom my CM from, from uh, far away from the seat. And I almost done with this top stitch. So the sewing process it is done. And there it is. Now I am go going to mount this cover. But I will add a uh, one layer or a headliner on the side. Because I add them on the other side. That way uh, uh, it's symmetrical. And because I'm going to glue this uh, cover to the phone and I want to uh, follow the shape of the phone so I'm going to put glue right here there is the stitch see I am putting glue in there just right there and I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to use a hot air just making sure that part stick as strong to the phone And same thing right here. I put glue and I will let it dry for a little bit. Then I will use the hot air. What happens if I don't use the hot air? Well, the color might look uh, good for the beginning, one week, a month, maybe three months, but after that, as soon as it get hot, there is a big chance that that core might start undone from that area. And you don't want that to happen. 
you always want uh, to make the uh, customer happy, always, always. A customer happy will, uh, will bring you more job. We recommend you with the uh, friends, a lot of people, and that way uh, you will keep you busy. So I am putting a uh, hot air in there, making sure that glue dry in that area. And I will put the hot air later too. Make sure the cover is uh, center and start gluing a little by little. And I glue that area. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Like I say, this uh, vinyl stretch to side. And you can see him on there. If you notice that something is not uh, fixing right or it is crooked, uh, make sure to fix it. I almost done with that part just going to staple all around because this is wood I will just staple if it, this was a metal I will use a hand ring like a metal frame and now we'll start putting a staple first I like always start from the corner uh, there is not like a specific rule that it tells you from where you're going to start. I always start from the front, uh, the logical, the front, and then the back corner, all, uh, that's logical. But there is not like a book that explains you have to start from the front or you have to start from the back. It's not a book to tell you that. Then you start rubbing and putting a staple and making sure uh, everything that is from outside to be playing a wrinkle that seat have a, like a crumb all around but I will do that uh, later and it's almost done and now I will trim all the excess material and then when the customer bring that crumb I will add it on there I will add an extra piece in there, but first uh, I will see. I have to see the crumb, a big crumb that is going to be exposed around. But there is long time ago when I start uh, working on this tray, you two not even exist. Now you can watch a, lo a lot of tips and trips related to a poster on YouTube and internet, and you can see I am showing you one of those tips and trip right here how you can add a, a red accent on the bottom cushion I show you a bottom cushion but this can be a backrest cover this can be a furniture this can be a dashboard this can be a door headliner center console anything remember this if you're going to use a a vinyl let's say let's say a black vinyl like I did uh, the customer pick a uh, red accent, red stitch, uh, with the red piping, and that is a big contrast. Uh, when you're going to use an accent, make sure to uh, do it that way. That way uh, can be so uh, notable from far away, and it look beautiful. I like how it look. Sometimes when you use a black vinyl, you can use a, a yellow accent, and it look fantastic. If you see somebody is doing something similar that I did, but he is use he or she is using a different technique, that doesn't mean that I am wrong or he or she is wrong. It's just a different technique. Uh, just pay attention to the uh, last result. That's the most important thing. If it's a job that he or she is making and at the end look beautiful, that's the most important thing.
thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this point so i uh, make sure to subscribe and i would be appreciated any comment leave it in the comment section of this video if you are learning just keep just this video on your favorite because sooner or later you might need it and this is a simple thing it's not a big deal it's just a simple thing you have to practice it that's all see you in the next video thank you